What's up, everybody? My name is Lehua, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcasts across worlds, and I stream on Twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. Today, we are reacting to how a realist hero saved the kingdom. And if you like anime reactions, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you can be notified on the next upload. And if you like to support the channel, we got Patreon and channel membership. Link to those are below. We are reacting to how a realist hero saved the kingdom, episode two. I was very impressed with episode one, and I am going to be invested in this story i'm excited to see how this plays out how soma is going to rebuild this kingdom how he's going to help it financially because he needs to he needs to do this quick i think he needs to do it quick because it seems like there's going to be a lot of pressure from the empire that's holding off the demons and i re if i remember correctly on the last episode he was he kept saying three years, three years. He needs to have it, have everything done in three years. So that's actually not long. <laughs> Normally things like this, it's like five or 10 years. Three years is going to pass by quick. So he's going to have to uh, bring in a lot of people um, that are going to help exponentially and... I'm excited to see how this plays out. This world has magic and unusual creatures living in it. Yeah, it's an isekai. <laughs> I guess he's saying that they use magical creatures for transportation means. No light bulbs. No electricity. Cooking is done with wood burning. There's no science. Everything is accomplished through the power of magic. I guess he's going to bring in science? The Industrial Revolution. Oh. He's going to go through all the revolutions. Like, like, um... All the phases of a civilization developing. Oh, they're gonna check if he can use magic. Then he'll have he'll have a better understanding of magic and be able to like manipulate it and such. Maybe benefit country. Or is the kingdom a country? Right? It is, right? Interesting that that's what's going to check his magic. It looks like a gargoyle. So pretty rainbow colors. So. Soma. How'd it go? He's like, apparently I can use magic now. I guess because he doesn't really have an understanding of magic, he doesn't know how it can be useful. Ooh, he's got people working! <laughs> Oh, is that his magic? You can use it to copy my consciousness into objects. Oh, that's so useful for him. Living poltergeist. That's cool. Okay, girl, it may be weird to you, but this is so good for him. It cuts down his work. <laughs> he 
super convenient for doing paperwork. Yes! There's a lot of paperwork to do. Sheesh. Digging up untapped money. Ooh. So he is trying to use the resources they already have before they expand and use money to invest in things to create more uh, income. Oh, and if he's checking if money is being used wrong, personal embezzlement and such. Oh. Hello. Uh, yeah, that was just at that moment temporarily. He needs to do this for a long term kind of thing. I feel like Soma is teaching her how to run a kingdom financially. Because pretty much things are run on money. In this kingdom, in order to stabilize the kingdom, you need money, yo. You need money to invest in the kingdom, to take care of the people. And you tax the people, but you don't want to tax the people too much. <laughs> Because they'll, like, get angry. They'll think there's unfairness. They might revolt. So he needs to look for things where people are using the kingdom, kingdom's finances for projects and such around the kingdom. See if they are using them fairly and properly. And if it's even needed to be used. Or if the person in charge is embezzling. So again, he's still working internally. And I'm totally <laughs> not <laughs> focusing on this bit of romance going on. <laughs> Potential romance! <laughs> so remember in the first episode, his grandpa was saying that he should find a family and protect it? I wonder if he's going to view this kingdom as his family. And because, you know, the parents already set them as engaged... He's seen her as family already. But he doesn't know how to ride a horse. Yeah, see? Oh, family! She's bringing up family! Oh! Oh, and girlfriends! Grandpa lived a full life. I guess there's a possibility that he can go back. Did they say that in the first episode? Is this cotton? Looks like cotton. Pretty, is it?
these inedible fields are the reason for the food shortage. No, they can't be eaten! <laughs> Why are they growing so much cotton, though? Where, where is all this cotton going? Northern countries produce a lot of cotton. Their production plummets in the north. Purchase price of cotton increased. Commercial crop. But why are the farmers selling? Oh. But are they selling enough to buy the imported food? To balance out or to actually make money? Cotton prices crashed. <gasps> they didn't! All too much cotton was made. People weren't buying from them. And food cost more. Because there's fewer food imported, <laughs> exported. Oh dear. So I'm assuming that all the farmers, farmers were doing things independently. They didn't need to be supervised by the king. Oh, he is teaching her. This is fascinating. I feel like my brain is tingling. <laughs> So much critical thinking. <laughs> I love it! Yes! Oh, is she soaking? What are you guys going to export? Who is this? He looks like a pretty boy! Captain of the Royal Guard? If they have time to chit chat, work harder! <laughs> Oh, this is breakfast? I thought it was lunch.
Human resources are particularly troubling. Prime Minister Marx is good. Yay. Oh, he needs to um have a turnover. He needs new people. He needs fresh blood. He doesn't want to keep the people who let the kingdom fall this badly. Oh, that's cool. That's a really cool way to broadcast. Job recruitment! Yes! The workforce I was talking about on the last episode. Yay! Oh, the country's literacy rate. 30% can write? <laughs> so are they going to solve the literacy literacy rate? Borrowing the words of a hero he respects? Obsessed with collecting personnel. Order of seeking talents. If you possess an aptitude, we'll make use of it. Yes! An age of upheaval. Oh, he's getting such a good speech. Tenacity alone. I am superior to our former king. This is such a good recruit speech. Oh, cool. They're pretty much showcasing our new characters. Any of these skeletons in your closet? I think this is going to be good for people who have been overlooked in their area.
I do not care if others say your talent is worthless. Do not hesitate. Bravo, bravo. Certificate of Peerlessness? Did he say Monetary Award? <laughs> oh, that's perfect for that person that looks poor. That looks... Oh, wow. Do they have the finances for that? <laughs> oh, oh, they're showing the people. Are you sure you would not change your mind? No, father. Yo, these ladies are getting in the way of the subtitles, okay? Oh, she's a refugee! I wonder what her talent is. I mean, I, I wonder what the big guy's talent is too. Him, he, I'm got the mysteriousness of someone who does magic. <laughs> but it could be something else. Her, oh, I don't know what hers is going to be. What What's your talent, girl? The first one, the elf, the dark elf looking one, we know, warrior. And that was my reaction to how a realist hero rebuilt the kingdom, episode 2. What would you think about that episode? What did you think about this video? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to talk outside of YouTube, there's a Discord. Link is in the description. I also stream on twitch.tv slash lehuosuperfina. People who watch these videos do like to stop by the stream, have a one-on-one -on -one real-time conversation. You guys are more than welcome. Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime, manga, and other things we're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, link the podcast in the description. We are available on all platforms. Other than that, my name is Lehul, and this is the Superfina channel, reacting to how a realist hero rebuilt the kingdom, episode 2. Hope you guys like this video, and I will see you on the next one. Laters! Huge thanks to my Patreons and channel members for making this video possible. If you also want to be part of the Superfina party, you can click over here or become a channel member. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And I do stream live on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Hope to see you guys there and I will see you on the next video. This bump.